Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be part two of my summer 2020 houseplant tour. If you missed part one, I'll go ahead and link it up here for you somewhere. I showed you all of my bedroom plants in part one, and today I'm going to show you all of the plants in my living room. So let's go ahead and get started. Right, so starting right here in my kitchen, this area is very low light so I can only keep things like snake plants. I have this Sansevieria cylindrica. And then over here on my kitchen island, I have a domino peace lily. And then here's my peace lily that I rescued from my apartment hallway over a year ago. This is the only piece I was able to save from it, but it's growing now, so I think it's gonna make it. Another low light area, I have this little table next to my couch, and I have a Alocasia lowrider, and then I have two different Sansevierias. I'm not sure the full name of them. I know this one is some type of Hanii. It's a bird nest Sansevieria, it stays pretty small, and then this one, one will get bigger. And then up here, some fake ivy I got at the craft store, but I have my jade satin pothos. Technically, it's not a pothos, it's actually a scandapsis, but that's its common name. Okay, moving on to my coffee table. I feel like I always switch up my plants over here. I like to keep it fresh and interesting. This time I have my jewel orchid right here in a teacup pot and this orchid is one of the few that I am able to keep alive because it actually lives in soil. I feel like every orchid that needs orchid bark I sadly kill. And then I've got my air plants. I don't know the names of these guys. I know this one is a tectorum though. It's real fuzzy. I actually need to soak these guys when I get done filming because I forgot to yesterday. This one is a candle. It always makes an appearance in these houseplant tours. <laughs> this one is a Scandopsis pictus silvery Ann. It's a lot like the Archerius, but this one has way more silver on the tips. And then right here I have a Philodendron Birkin. I picked this one up very recently. It's kind of in quarantine before I repot it, but I've been wanting one for forever. And if you're wondering, I did get it at Nick's Garden and it is $34.99 in a six inch pot. And this is a Philodendron Brantianum. Sometimes nicknamed Philodendron Brandy. It looks a lot like the Scandopsis Pictus. This one is Hoya DS70. Very similar to Hoya Billabada. Hoya Chelsea. This one is Hoya Cantiana, I believe. Here I have Peperomia obtusifolia. Mine is the marble variety. Peperomia pixie. And then this little one is Peperomia glabella. We are now on the bottom shelf and this one is Pelionia pultra. Sometimes it's called Polynesian ivy. This one is Diffenbachia camille. It is a kind of Diffenbachia that actually stays pretty small. And then right here, I have a goldfish plant or what's left of mine. For some reason, I always kill these. I've had like four of them and they always die, but I was able to root a cutting of my last one and I've kept it alive for a while. So hopefully that one makes it knock on wood. And then this one is Hoya Oyeriae. Growing a lot right now, super happy. 
and then a Hoya Carnosa Splash. This one is a Philodendron Xanadu. Here is a Scindapsis Pictus Exotica. Its leaves are getting so big. Wow. I actually trimmed this one recently. I have a ton of cuttings. I'll show you too. And then here is my Monstera Deliciosa. Getting pretty big. This is its newest leaf, and I just think it's so beautiful. Now we are on this bookshelf right here, all the way up to the top. I have Hoya Australis. I've got a smaller one I showed you from the bedroom. A peach light. My Hoya Carii. This one is just the plain green. Hoya Kalakina? I think that's how you say it. Originally I thought this one was a multiflora, and then I realized the leaves are actually different looking. Still a really cool Hoya though, I'm so glad I found it. There's me. Next shelf here. Here is a Kalankoia Blasfeldiana. My friend Kelsey gave me this one for Valentine's Day. This is a watermelon peperomia, the, the mini watermelons. And then here are some cuttings from my Monstera Adansonii, the round form. With those roots in there, so nice. And then right here is my Hoya Awavada. It's going through a growth spurt. Really happy about that. This one is Philodendron Moonlight. The white stuff right there is Diatomaceous Earth. I am trying to battle some fungus gnats, so you may see that around a lot in this video, but don't be worried. It is there on purpose. This one is Philodendron Lemon Lime. I love how bright it is. It's just so pretty it has such a really beautiful pop of color and then this one is just a little jade pothos i've had this one for a long time i actually killed the mother plant from this one and it was just a leaf for about a year but it's finally got a little friend good job here is another scandopsis pictus exotica I think this one might actually be the Silver Splash based on the high amount of silver that it has. See how much silver the leaves actually have? I think I have a couple strands back in there that are pure silver too. But Whenever I see any of these plants, I'm immediately drawn to them. That's why I have so many of them. One of my all-time faves. And then here I have a vanilla orchid vine. Goes all the way down there and it is loving that humidifier right there. Look at these aerial roots. Right, and this shelf, um, it, actually the next two shelves are pretty much all water propagations. Back here is some exotica cuttings that are taking root. I have a piece of Hoya abovada. The roots are really nice on that one. It's in an old pasta jar. This one's kind of a mix of different cuttings. I've got some exotica in there, some philodendron brandy, and then some narrow leaf Adansonii clippings. Just kind of throw them all together. Here's some cuttings from my vanilla. And then this poor thing is a uh, just Phalaenopsis orchid that I got from Lowe's for like three dollars and I'm just doing like partial hydroculture so 
Only about a third of the roots stay in water. Somehow I've kept it alive, I don't know, it, it must be working. <laughs> and then down here I have a Begonia Rex. Not very happy, I don't know why, but Begonias seem to hate me. Even though it's right next to the humidifier. And I have some Ivy. That one is Francis Ivy. It was in soil, but it was doing really bad, and it had spider mites and everything. So I decided to give it a little water therapy after the bug treatment and see if it perks back up. I will repot it soon, though. And then here I have another little piece of Begonia Rex. Down in there, there's a little baby. And then this one is a piece of Peperomia Rana Verde. And then in this one, I have Begonia Rex Red Kiss and Peperomia Glabella. I realized I forgot to show you a couple hanging plants that are up here in between the shelves. So I have this little terrarium and in there I just have one air plant. And then here's one of my favorite Hoyas. It's a Hoya Pubicalix. And it's winding all the way up the macrame, which I think is so cool. And it's reaching out all the way down here. I have more floor plants to show you. This one is Philodendron Prince of Orange. And then here is a Philodendron Celloum. I know recently it was reclassified and peeping out of feedum, but I think that's what it's mostly referred to, so I'm just gonna keep calling that um a lot of people call it the philodendron hope kind of looks like lettuce leaves to me i think it's cool back here i have another sensibaria it is a piece of plant from an old friend from her grandmother's plant actually so this plant is older than i am this one is a rubber tree, Ficus elastica. Mine changed color. It used to be that really pretty burgundy color and it's just kind of gone all green. All right, let's move on to this last shelf here. So I have my Monstera out in Sonii. This thing is truly a monster. It grows so fast and I've trimmed it multiple times been through spider mites, it's been through mealybugs, and still kicking. Next to that I have my Philodendron Congo. Really cool plant. It grows very quickly as well. Down here I have a Pothos Enjoy. Peperomia prostrata or string of turtles. Currently flowering, if you see the little string looking things right here. Those are its flowers, isn't that cute? And then here, I think it's a Kalanchoe. This one was a hitchhiker on one of my other plants a while ago and I gave it its own pot. So I wanted to see what it would turn into. On this shelf, I have a Lucky Bamboo. And then I have a little Syngonium right here, or Arrowhead plant. And a Philodendron Scandin, so just a normal Hartley Philodendron. Here I have a philodendron neon. Some people call this one a lemon lime. Little cactus, there's the name of it. And then I have some more assorted cuttings. So I've got some Hoya Crimson Queen and Hoya DS70. This one is Hoya Chelsea and string of hearts and then i have black pagoda lipstick plant and hoya serpents all 
On this next shelf, I have a Cebu Blue Pothos. It was recently in water for a very long time and I finally gave it its own little pot yesterday. Then I have a Pearls and Jade Pothos. This one is related to a cactus. I do not know how to pronounce the name. And then another Syngonium. I think this one is the Strawberries and Cream. Next to that, we have a Hoya Serpens. The leaves are so cute to me. Look how round and tiny they are. And then I have a Serapagia Woody Eye. This one is the String of Spades variety. See how pointy the leaves are? This is my Pilea Peperomioides and it wasn't doing well at all, so I chopped it and put it in water. And look at those roots. It's even growing a new leaf now. Here is my Sansevieria Moonshine. I need to give it brighter light so I can bring out more of that white color that it's famous for. Here is a Purple Passion Plant. I struggled with these for a while. I did kill my first two, but I've recently gotten the hang of it and I even propagated it, this piece back here. And then I have a little green Tritoscantia or oyster plant. Down here I have Philodendron Mykins and then a few baby succulents. So I have Kalanchoe Melodii. I'm actually not sure what that one is. This one is Crassula sarmentosa or Comet Crassula. It's really cool. It's one of the ones that vines out. And then here I have a little string of buttons. It's another Crassula. This one is from Ashwin. It was a tiny clipping and it's finally starting to grow. And then down here, I have a pickle plant. I will put its scientific name up for you. And then I have two different Thanksgiving cacti. Okay, these next plants are all from outside. I did have to bring them indoors last night because the temperature dropped below 40 degrees. And I live in Colorado. I really don't like to keep my plants outside if it's below 50. So that's why they're all in here, but it does make it more convenient for me to show you them. Here is actually a little planting kit that I got at Target. Beefsteak tomatoes and basil, and I just planted them yesterday. That's why there's that saran wrap right there, but I thought, how cute. It was in that little dollar section. It was $5. And then I do not know the name of this succulent. I have the pot still. I got it at Home Depot, so I'll put the name up. A little Kalanchoe Blasfeldiana. Ashlyn gave me that one last summer. I have a little angel wing begonia, not doing too hot. I kill all of these. A fishhook cactus. Or two of them. Little Kalanchoe cuttings I put in this teeny tiny little pot. And then here is a little cactus that I rescued from Target last year. Over here I have a lily that was outside last year and then I, I overwintered it and it's growing back. I have a little jalapeno plant. I've never grown vegetables of any kind before, so I'm kind of skeptical about these guys, but I thought it'd be a fun little experiment. Here is a little bear paw succulent. And then another begonia. This one is flowering. I love that color, it's so pretty. 
more begonias. I don't know what the full name of these guys. I just picked them out because I thought they were really pretty. And then I have this big syngonium that usually lives indoors, but I thought it'd be nice to put out on the balcony this year. Here is an entire pot of potatoes. <laughs> they were sitting in my cupboard and they started to sprout, so I ended up planting them. I think the, the leaves are actually really pretty. Then over here, I have a bunch of succulents. I have a Kalanchoe Mother of Millions. And then a Flapjack Kalanchoe. Don't know the name of that one. It's interesting. It has kind of fuzzy leaves. And then that one is some type of jade or crassula. Little aloe vera right there. Big aloe vera. That's my male. And then another Kalanchoe Blastfeldiana. Here is Kalanchoe tomentosa or panda plant. Ripsalis, I don't know the exact kind. This one is Euphorbia trigona. It was all red, but all of its growth has been green lately. I'm hoping that being out in the sun will bring out that red color again. I don't remember the name of this one. I do have it written down in my plant care app, so I'll put it on the screen for ya. Seems I'm having to do that a lot today, but that's okay. Cacti, I have some type of spiral cactus back there. I don't know anything about these guys. I think this one is some type of devil's tongue. Could be wrong. I don't know a whole lot about cacti, if I'm being honest. And then, a cotyledon. This one might be the mint truffles. I'm not sure. Here is a bowl of succulents. I got these actually in this six pack from Home Depot. And they're just in my old pot that I had from a bonsai from years ago. Some cacti. I usually keep these guys in my bedroom. I think you probably saw them in part one as well as this tiger aloe that you probably saw. Here are some lilies. This one bloomed overnight, how pretty. And then these are the last few. So I have a couple different Haworthias. This one's a zebra Haworthia. I don't know about that one. It's covered in diatomaceous earth. This little cactus. Here is my prickly pear cactus. It's one of my faves. I got that one at Walmart a couple years ago. Another aloe vera. Mine just explodes with pups all the time. So um, the mother plant actually started dying. It's that one over there in the white pot. But these are all pups from that one. So I potted them up separately. And then I have another Begonia Rex, and I actually don't know what kind this one is. It did flower earlier in the season. It was little white flowers, but I'm going to put it outside and see if it gets any happier because it hasn't been happy indoors. But yeah, I have some shelves outside that I'm going to put most of these on, and then the bigger pots obviously just sit right on the deck, but. That is everything, you guys. Right, so that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!